Yo, what's going on YouTube? So, I tried to make this video last week, didn't quite go to plan as the weather was one, great, and two, wasn't really in the mind, right mind frame to film this. Last week's been pretty tough, um, body fat's been going up, and I've been forcing myself to eat more food, which I'm going to eat more food, so I'm going to get very uncomfortable. So, today I'm going to talk to you uh, about sugar, clear up a few myths, and kind of put your mind at ease, really, because it's not all that bad. Uh, whilst I'm going through this, you get to watch me devour a big old piece of cheesecake and some ice cream, and also a chest workout that I did last weekend, which was pretty mad. So yeah, let's get into it. Okay, this topic gets quite complex quite quickly, but I'm going to try and keep it as simple as possible. So we're going to start with what sugar is. Now, what's common knowledge is that glucose is the formal name of sugar and fructose is the formal name for fruit sugar. This isn't true. Table sugar, or sugar as we know it, is a one-to-one -one ratio chemical combination of glucose and fructose known as sucrose. Now, this is different from normal, uh, uh, what, sorry, what is scientifically known as sugars, because sugars are a biochemical compound uh, that it's a water-soluble carbohydrate that are typically sweet. So that includes so many things, including lactose in milk. That is a sugar. Um, so now I'm hoping that we've debunked the myth of fruit sugar fructose and normal sugar glucose. Not true. Sugar as you know it is sucrose. Um, now, in fruits, you do get more free fructose and more free glucose, but you also get uh, sucrose. So, it really depends on what you're eating, unless you've looked into it, assume you're eating sucrose. Or sugar. <laughs> okay, next, natural versus refined sugar. A difficult one to start on. So, refined sugar is typically taken from sugar beet or sugar cane. Um, which is a plant. So we are extracting sugar from natural sources and having it into a more easily accessible form. Uh, the reason we do this specifically from sugar cane and sugar beet rather than other crops, uh, vegetables and fruits is because of the sucrose to free glucose to free fructose proportions throughout this crop compared to others, which can be seen here in the US a national nutritional database um, so you could extract refined sugars from any of these other sources that you say contain natural sugars but it's just less efficient and the way we get refined sugar is not too dissimilar from the way we get salt from seawater effectively evaporating off the excess liquid from these crops that then leaves sugar crystals behind, just in a more easily accessible form for us to use later. Now we're going to talk about fructose, which was my biggest fear around sugar, and that's because of its constant comparison with alcohol due to the way they are both metabolized, which is through the liver, and it causes many, many issues like dependencies, addiction, um, increased weight gain, specifically adipose tissue gain, i.e. you get fat, and also uh, non-alcoholic uh, fatty liver disease or just fatty liver disease if you're drinking. A study that I found on examine.com which is a very well respected nutrition website um, studied the effect of fructose overfeeding in healthy men. So they had a 25% caloric surplus made up of fructose and they found um, amongst many other things the thing that I'm most worried about was a six times increase in de novo lipogenesis than when compared to regular sugar. What this is, is a conversion of excess sugars into fat. And so to put it simply, they found an increase of fat conversion from the overconsumed calories increased six times than that from normal sugar overconsumption. And in the form of adipose tissue, which is fat under the skin which is this type of fat that makes you look fat rather than 
visceral fat or your internal fat, which is just dangerous. <laughs> now, although this other study did tell us that eating fructose is exceptionally bad for you, it is considered similar to being an alcoholic <laughs> when eaten in a surplus. As long as you don't eat it in a surplus, there are countless studies showing that there is no unequivocal evidence that ingestion of fructose over any other sugar is directly related with adverse metabolic effects. Um, as long as you eat it in moderate doses and stay within your caloric requirement. So don't overeat, and honestly you can eat as much sugar as you like, but stay within your caloric requirement, otherwise you will get fat and have issues. Okay, now we're gonna cover the last topic of the day, which is sugar and weight gain. So over my next couple of points, I'm gonna hopefully try and convince you as to why you shouldn't have a diet high in sugar. Let's get started. So we as humans have an innate response um, to over consume sugar. Um, and this kind of makes sense. If you eat something that is palatable and you enjoy it, you want to over consume. Um, and there's research done, which I'm gonna put on the screen, that shows this. So the more palatable you find a meal, the more likely you are to overconsume. And if you don't find something as enjoyable, you're less likely to continue eating once you are full. <laughs> I can definitely relate to this because I really, really love ice cream. And so the chances of me having just one scoop, yeah, good luck. <laughs> I can actually go as far with this as to say that ice cream makes me less full. So yeah, this was a myth I think my mum told me when I was like 10 and it's stuck with me forever. When I'm full, I'm gonna go have some ice cream and I'm gonna be less full. Next is a study that I found that show the effects of form of the food that you're eating and uh, appetite. So it concludes that an intake of nutrients through liquids results in a less satiety effect, leaving one at risk to overconsuming. i.e. if you drink your calories, you're more likely to overconsume, as did every participant in this study. By up to 15% of their daily calories over consuming. Um, this is why I personally would recommend eat your calories and drink only water. This is where I would like to make a statement which I personally believe, and I'm not sure if anyone else does, but I would say that fruit juice consumption is bad and I would really watch this. Um, I personally believe it to be worse than chocolate sweets sorry, candy, um, or other empty sources of calories due to its, uh, this additional fact of how easy it is to overconsume. Fruit is very high in sugar. The reason fruit is considered healthy to eat is because you tend to not be able to eat enough fruit to get the amount of sugar. But one glass of fruit juice, say one glass of apple juice is gonna have four apples in it. Try eating four apples in one go. You're gonna feel uncomfortable, but you can drink a glass of apple juice, no problem at all. Sorry, my personal recommendation to you is to stay away from juice. Okay, the last thing I'm gonna discuss in this final topic is some research I found from the University of Columbia, which was done for the Women's Health Initiative, which noted an increased diet of sugar was correlated with increased odds of depression and mood swings, which I can personally relate to, because I've noted throughout my life that the higher intake of sugar I have, the more volatile my mood which also lends itself to overconsuming because I know I'm not the only person on this planet to do it, but I can't for eat. And so if my mood is all over the place, chances are I'm gonna eat more, be in a caloric surplus and get fat, and, or rather gain weight, sorry. So I would recommend not having a diet high in sugar for quite a few reasons, but as long as you are within your caloric requirement, i.e. you're tracking how much you're eating and you're not overeating, honestly, eat what you like. Um, I know my girlfriend at the moment is doing an if it fits your macros diet. She has chocolate or a smoothie, pancakes every single day and she's currently losing weight because she doesn't, she watches what she eats and she doesn't go over the amount of calories she needs to maintain her body weight. Okay, that's the end of the video. Um, if you liked it, if you found it informative, please give it a thumbs up and share it with your friends. Let them know that they shouldn't be scared of refined sugar any more than they should be scared of fruit. And warn them to stay away from fruit juices. <laughs> but honestly, just watch what you eat, watch the amount that you're eating, and then you can eat whatever you want, as long as it's within reason. Um, so have a great day. 
and thanks for coming back again. Peace. Wait, wait, I almost forgot. Hit that subscribe button. I'm gonna put it there. Hit it, and then I'll flex in the next video, because flex for subscribers. Yeah, where that would be, but without shirts and stuff. <laughs> Peace.